on my YouTube family? So I am on my way home from the gym. Just wanted to talk to you guys for a second. Um, obviously you guys see and hear me talk about the gym quite a bit. And I just wanted to talk about like the importance of trying to keep yourself in good health, especially for people like us, you know, musicians, producers, engineers. You know, with music, it's an art and it requires a lot of, you know, creative juices. And with creativity, it's not like a nine to five. It's not like, a, okay, I'm gonna be creative from 9 a.m. till 5 a.m. and then I'm clocking out and I'll go do what I want. You know, with, with the art that we do, we may be locked in the studio for 12, 15 hours a day. Or if you're still working a nine to five, and then you're doing music on your free time, you're sitting down at your desk at your job, then you're coming home, then you're locking yourself in the studio. And again, you might be in there all night. So it's different than just having a nine to five where you know you have these designated eight hours, nine hours where you're at work and then you can go you know, do whatever you want for the remainder of your day. Um, so it's super important for us to Take an hour, take you know 30 minutes, take an hour, take an hour and a half to go out, walk, um, go lift weights, go do some sort of cardio. You know, I try to break a sweat every single day. And once you get in the habit of that, it really becomes like, for me, working out is just like brushing my teeth. Like it's something that's going to happen with my day. You know, in the last vlog I talked about uh, last Saturday, I didn't um, work out prior to my session and I was really truly just feeling weird. Like I, I just fell off. Um, working out is like my coffee. It gives me my energy in the day um, to get me started really. That's probably why I crashed so hard that day and ended up taking a nap. So. Yeah, I just wanted to stress the importance, you know, good health, health is wealth in my opinion. Um, you'll be surprised by how, you know, how much more creative you become because you're not feeling so out of energy, so just lethargic. You know, I like to start my day with my workout. It, it's kind of like a snowball effect. You know, it takes discipline to, to get up and make it to the gym. And once you start off with that discipline, it kind of just rolls down into the rest of your day. You wanna be productive with the rest of your day. You also want to uh, make better decisions with eating the rest of your day. So I just encourage you guys to find, you know, 30 minutes, an hour, every single day where you can get, get out, go walk, go run, go lift some weights, do something. Because people like us, man, we, are, we <laughs> will lock ourselves in our studio and forget to eat not even think about our own health and you know obviously it's super super important All right, what's up, homies? Today is Tuesday, May 24th, and I am in the studio, just got done responding to some emails, and uh, now I don't have a session until later on this evening. So right now I'm getting ready to download the files from Audio School Online. They're having a uh, mix contest right now. So this website is ran by Ken Lewis, who's Grammy awarded mix engineer, producer, uh, definitely look him up if you don't know. He's done quite a bit of work with like Kanye and people like that, Mary J. Blige, and yeah. So, mix contest through his site. I'm downloading the files right now, and um, you know, pretty much, I think if you place the top ten, you get a mix critique from Ken Lewis, which would be dope. Um, and yeah, I just want to knock it out, see if I place, um, and if I do place just to see you know what type of critique you would give me what what do I do well what could be improved on things like that so 
Yeah, the, the contest deadline is June 5th, so definitely want to get that knocked out today while I have some time. Also, check it out. Numi, Miss Numi is up. <laughs> Looking sexy. I uh, used, let's see, yesterday I had a session with Terry Notes and Numi recorded the vocals. And man, like the raw vocals just sounded crazy. Barely had to use any EQ. Um, the mid range on this mic, the upper mids, uh, is just better than any mic I've ever used as far as, you know, placing a vocal in a mix and it just cutting through without having to do any work to it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy when you're on like gear sluts and stuff, they bash the TLM mics and I'm trying to tell you, I've used so many mics. I love, I love my new me. <laughs> hey what's up guys so i've started working on the mix for uh the ken lewis audio school online mix competition um and i've got everything laid out the way that i like to work started working on the mix i wanted to go over how i route everything with you guys i haven't went over that with you but i like to do um in the box summing kind of like if I was doing uh, out of the box or a analog summing, but I wanted to go over that with you real quick. First, I'll play the song to let you know that, or let you hear what I've done so far. It's not the finished version, but um, but yeah, it's coming together. So I'll play this real quick. Nothing I could do is ever good enough for you. Could barely make it through the day without fear in my heart would send you away. I could barely make a memory that I want to keep without you near me. Oh, I'll try, but then I'll deny. Oh, I'll try. So that's what I've done so far. Um, and real quick, I just want to show you how I've laid everything out. This is kind of like how I like to work. So I usually have um, the bass element, whether it's the bass guitar or 808 or whatever up top. So that's what's up here in the dark purple is the bass guitar. Everything in this purplish, light purple, pink, whatever color are my drums. Um, drums. Everything in orange here are my guitars. Pink is my synth. This is my organ. Everything in this purple, uh, dark purple, is uh, just the little special effects that happen, you know, at various times throughout the song. Yellow is my lead vocal. The green, the, the lighter green, are my uh, lead chorus vocals. And then these are my BGVs, my background vocals. So that's how I lay out my mixes. Um, you know, find a find a layout that works for you that you use repeatedly. So that way, you know, when you start mixing, you don't have to even think about okay, where are my tracks? Where is my kick drum? Where is my lead vocal? You color code them the same every time, and put them, you know, lay them out the same so you know exactly you know you have a feel of where they are. So, um, but yeah, I like to work. Uh, in the box summing, kind of like how you would set up analog summing. So I, I tend to send everything to um, its own stem right before it hits the the sub mix. So to show you how that looks, I have the bass guitar going to a bass aux. Um, my kicks are going to their own kick aux, which is still routed with inside of uh, the drum kit. So pretty much all of the drums are going to end up at the drum kit. Um, so the four snares are going to the snare aux. The reason why I have the kicks going to a kick aux instead of just straight into the drum kit is because there's three uh, different kicks. So, you know, I want to give them all their own little treatment because they are different. But then I also want to, you know, just kind of kiss them on the seven, uh, 1176 
um, and do a little bit of processing to all three to kind of glue them to, together a little bit. So that's why they go to their own kick ox. The four snares go to their own snare ox. And then the hats, overheads, and the rooms uh, are going to the drum kit. You can see the output to the snare and the kick are the drum kit uh, ox as well. So you have your drum kit. You have everything in orange are guitars and they are going to a guitar aux here. My synth is going to its own synth aux. The organ is going to its own organ aux. All of the uh, special effects are going to their own SFX aux. My lead vocals are going to a lead aux. My uh, lead hooks are going to their own lead hook aux. And then all of the BGVs are going to a BGV aux. Okay. Then I also have my effects that I'm using on this on this record going to an effects aux. Then over here, hopefully this isn't too confusing, but over here what I have is the output of all of the auxes that I just went through are going to a stem. So I have my bass stem, my drum kit stem, my guitar stem, synth, organ, special effects, lead, lead hook, BGBs, and effects. All of those are the stems, okay? On those, what I like to do is use the Slate Digital VCC. The, uh, I'll put the mix bus uh, VCC on, on uh, the stem and play around with the different tones. So um, I've bounced around between SSL, Neve, this uh, symbol here, I honestly don't even know what it is, but I like the sound of it when, you know, trying all of the different sounds. So I've went with this, this particular sound and I have that on all of the stems. So then all of the stems are being routed to my submix which the, ver the very first plugin on my submix is a tape emulation. So that's kind of my, my way to do, get an analog summing uh, sound in the box. Okay. So yeah, definitely hit me up. If you have any questions about that, I feel like I kind of rambled through that. It's kind of hard to explain. I, I just realized that, but um, definitely uh, ask me any questions in the comments or send me an email if you have any particular questions on what I just went over. Um, but yeah, this is the way I go about setting up my mixes, uh, regardless of the genre or um, you know however many tracks there are or whatever. This is the way I like to set it up. <laughs> Just for the freshness. Just for the freshness. <laughs> God, please tell me where my confidence is at. Lord knows I be losing sleep over all this shit. You know I got the nine all on my back, so please bow down and show me respect. I am the one, you are my sons. I'm running away just like Pierre Garçon. You, may you know what you should do is you need to get a monitor in here for TV. Nah. Or like put a TV right there. I gotta be able to concentrate on the game. I hate like yeah. watching games of like teams that I'm fans of, like the Chiefs. I can't go and be like at a friend's house with 20 people there watching the Chiefs really? game. No, because I gotta be in tune with it, man. Really? Like, I don't even have the time like going to games because people are always trying to talk to you and stuff. I'm yeah. like, nah, man, I gotta focus. So yeah, <laughs> I can't do that with uh, OKC, OKC either. Yeah. I'm going, okay, see, so used to be this, you know, the Supersonics, but Golden State's not my team. Everybody's just on the bandwagon, bro. Well, I'm allowed to be because fucking OKC took it my team away from me, so fuck them. <laughs> God, please tell me where my confidence is at. Lord knows I be losing sleep over her all this shit. I be pouring out my heart on every verse I've ever spit. I'm the one. You know I got the nine nine on my back, so please bow down and show me respect. Singing in the spirits, big Italian tones. Oh, yeah. yeah that one's bad. <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah, that one's better. That one's better. That one's better. <laughs> <laughs> That's your catchphrase. Yeah, that one's better.